Right, good afternoon. Here's another quick how-to video from Buckland Computers. And this is an Acer Aspire Z5600, um, on which the hard drive has failed, so I need to get it out and get it changed. And it did take me a little while to, to hack my way into this, so this is a, a little instructional video uh, on the quickest way to get into this. As usual, I assume you know what one of these are, a screwdriver, and you know which end is which. If you don't, you should not be doing this job. Okay, so having got that out of the way, let's get on with the job. Uh, first job is to slide this panel down and it unclips, like so. And the, um, the, uh, the next thing is it exposes screws here, here, and here, and here. And you can undo those and you will not get these covers off because you have to first unclip this cover and remove it. That just simply unclips throw that to one side and that exposes an extra screw here and here and when you've undone those screws this um, these panels can be unclipped with a screwdriver or a spudger if you've got one and we'll just put those to one side same on the other side just unclips and then you're confronted with a nice expensive plastic and you think well what was the point in taking those off um, because now we um, we, we uh, you know, still got to get this back cover off now, the main thing with this back cover I found the trickiest bit was actually getting this TV aerial out. So if you've still got that connected, it does actually just plug into this hole. And if you get a pair of pliers on it on the top and just pull, that will actually unpop. It's just got a simple little um, push in fit thing. So anyway, you don't want that out. So throw that to one side. Um, now, there are a copious number of screws here. Um, and they're all fairly fell self-evident. So if you start undoing them, um, there's one there. Um, there's um, there's a couple just in here. There's one on that side and one on that side, and there's some more down the bottom here, uh, there, and there. Anyway, so if you take all these screws out, I would put them all to one side because the screw that goes in there and the screw that goes in there are actually bigger than all the other screws, and you can see it there is a big fat thing. Okay, so just make sure you don't lose those. Um, now comes the tricky bit, having got all those screws out, this, this back panel is quite difficult to get off. Um, I found the easiest way was actually to snap the top bezel um, away um, from its clips up here. This is already loose because it's such a nightmare to get off. And then by using the spudger down the sides, um, I was able to hinge it up. And then the final thing is you just come along here and you snap off the, the, the bottom bit of the bezel. And then eventually, ta-da, that whole thing lifts away. And uh, here is our um, here is our machine. The cover here covers the the RAM. You don't need to take the back cover off, actually, to get the RAM. If you want to upgrade that, you can just literally lift that off and change it. Just make sure that goes back in the right place. Hard drive is here. There are one, two, three little screws. I'll do that again. One, two, three little screws which have to come out, and then drive comes out, swap over, plug it back in again. Don't forget to take the tape off which has got this little, what I assume is a temperature thing on it. Um, the motherboard is all hidden underneath here. I'm not going to take that off today because I don't need to do that. So um, now I've changed the hard drive on this one. It's all fixed so uh, I'm just going to put it back together again. So hope you enjoyed that and I hope it saves somebody else some trouble. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.